People say that first impressions are everything. So when you open up your game and the first thing you see is the title screen, you can already know if you're about to play a masterpiece or a stinker. This idea kind of popped into my head while I was at work. What are some of the best and worst title screens in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise? Because there are a lot of Sonic games. So I'm going to make a tier list on every single title screen in the Sonic series. I decided to make a tier list because it's kind of like tradition for Sonic Troopers to make tier lists on things that they like or dislike. So, you know, it's my turn to throw my hat into the ring, you know what I'm saying? So, how am I ranking these? Well, basically, I'm ranking them on the overall presentation, like how well is the title screen presented? Two, how interesting is it? Is it just like a title and a blank background or are there things going on in it? And three, the music, because there are some unique tracks in these title themes and you know, music's fire, that's why. So, I'm not even gonna waste time. I wanna get right into it with the first game, Sonic the Hedgehog. The, the game that started it all, you know what I'm saying? And this is a classic, I can't even deny it. It's iconic, it's the most iconic in the series, and they're probably in gaming in general. It's so iconic that this style of Sonic, with him being in the emblem, has been replicated so many times before to varying levels of success. And I like his little finger wag that he does. And you cannot forget that iconic Sonic the Hedgehog theme. This one is a solid A tier for sure. Sonic 2. Basically does the same thing as Sonic 1 does, but better. It feels way more polished now in Judas and Tails. The animation of Sonic and Tails coming out of the emblem feels way more fluid. And the poses look much cooler. The background is the entirety of the island rather than just like one zone, like Green Hill Zone. Giving the, the title screen much greater feel of scale. The music is still the same as from Sonic's one title screen, but it adds a little sparkling sound at the end. Overall, an improvement, but I wish they changed up the music to like a variation of the sound test music from the you know Sonic 2. Still solid A tier. Sonic 3, again following the same style, but this time they're starting to do this pseudo 3D style for Sonic, and it kind of feels weird. It has the same style as Sonic 2 with like the whole of Angel Island being in the back with Tails flying his plane. The music is alright, I've never been really a fan of the title screen music for Sonic 3 or Sonic & Knuckles. Nothing super special, solid B tier. Sonic & Knuckles. Again, it does go for that pseudo 3D look, but something that I like is that the, the title screen takes literally right after the ending of Sonic 3. So it goes transitions from Sonic 3 right into Sonic & Knuckles. Speaking of the two, the two of them take center stage, Sonic wagging his finger and Knuckles doing whatever he's doing with his fist, I don't know, fucking shaking it or something. It does get rid of the Sonic emblem motif that's kind of been tradition with Sonic, but it's not that bad. B tier. Sonic 1 8-bit. Basically the same thing as Sonic 1 16-bit, but very watered down. It's basically just a black background, it's nothing really special. C tier. Sonic 2 8-bit. This is kind of interesting because instead of completely copying Sonic 2 16-bit, it uses the beta version of Sonic 2's title, but flipped. But there's no music and it's just a blue background. Kind of mid, not that bad though. C tier. Sonic CD. This one goes back to Sonic being in the emblem, and I think this one is my favorite out of the classics. The background is this area where Sonic is in the intro of the game rather than on a little planet. Sonic himself looks really good, I don't know what about it, like about it, but the render is really nice. And the background music is a rendition of You Can Do Anything. And finally, it's the origin for this legendary image. S tier. I really like this one. Sonic Chaos. This one's kind of goofy. This one has Sonic and Tails in a big ring, and they look kind of like bobbleheads. Their proportions are really off. It's a C tier, honestly. Sonic Triple Trouble. Similar to Sonic Chaos, it's Sonic in an emblem with a top-down perspective. But for some reason, Knuckles is just there laughing. Again, really goofy. But the music really bops, and the background isn't just a solid color anymore. So, this is tough. I think I'll give it a B tier. I think it's the best one in the Game Gear system line. All that shit. Sonic 3D Blast. Now, this one's really bizarre. It shows up after the intro, so there's no music. Or there's no background color, it's just black. The 3D render of Sonic and the Flickies is alright, but I'm not really a fan of it. It looks kind of weird. Really uncanny, actually. I think I'm going to make this my first F tier. And that's a bit harsh, but I feel like it's going to be my first F tier. Sonic R. Nothing too special. It's a pick of Sonic and Friends Racing. 
I do like that the R is spinning and stuff. It's a nice and cool, I guess. C tier. Sonic Blast. Nope. Not even gonna do this shit. Sonic Drift. It's alright. Sonic being in a car and his thumb being comically larger than his head. It's kind of funny. C tier. Sonic Drift 2. It's actually kind of a downgrade. Sad that they didn't like involve the idea of Sonic being in a car, like have it be more similar to the cover art. This is a D tier. Now we're getting to some of the 3D games. Sonic Adventure. This one is really nice. The logo slams to the middle of the screen, letting you know, yeah, you're in 3D now, bitch. The water rippling in the background fits the theme of the enemy chaos that you'll find in the game. And I really like the shortened version of Open Your Heart. It is a bit bland with the background and stuff, but besides that, it's really solid. Solid B tier. Sonic Adventure 2. It's literally just a better version of Sonic Adventure 1. The logo slowly reaches the center of the screen as the music kicks in. Automatically, extra points for syncing with music. Love that type of stuff. Then we have the six characters scrolling in the back with their bubbles. And I really like how it looks. And the and this version of Live and Learn is so cool. It ends in like this echo reverb type sound. Basically saying, you want to hear the rest? Play the game. Easy S tier. Sonic Pocket Adventure. This one's really interesting. It's another play on the Sonic 1 title, but with Adventure Sonic and the remix of Sonic 3's theme playing. And I like the little animation of his, you know, finger wagging. It's nice. It's nothing too crazy, but it's nice. B tier. Sonic Advanced. This one's kind of basic. It's an image of Sonic behind a blue and white checkered pattern. And their logo is there, similar to Sonic 3D Blast Screen. This comes after the intro, so there's no music, and you're just left with quiet. C tier. Sonic Advance 2 is actually really cool. It transitions from a camera flying from the water to a shot of an island then pans up to the sky and then you transition to see the logo and the music is fire. It is kind of bland with just it being the sky, but it's definitely an improvement from Advanced 1. B tier. Sonic Advance 3. This one's really eh. It just doesn't feel like much. It's similar to the style of Sonic Advance 1 with the background being a checkered board, but it's a circle. Definitely my least favorite out of the Advanced series, it's a D tier. Sonic Heroes. Well, right off the bat, it starts with Team Sonic fucking jump scaring you, I don't know why. But then they disappear and the logo for the game shows up and it's behind the generic sky background. I don't know why they fucking love this sky, like what's so special about it? I don't know, I digress. A unique version of Sonic Heroes plays which I like a bit. And overall, not super interesting, but it's not that bad either. It's a B tier. Shadow the Hedgehog. This one feels really all over the place. It starts off alright with, you know, the Black Arms logo showing up and then the Shadow the Hedgehog logo shows up. Then we have Westopolis and Shadow pointing a gun at you, like saying, if you don't play this fucking game, I'll kill you right now. I don't fucking know. All the colors are super muted and it's like hard to see stuff. Really cluttered and kind of goofy. It's a D tier. Sonic 06. Now, this is quality. The logo is dead center, and the background is the start of King of Valley. And in the back, you have the intro of his world playing. It's the orchestra part, which fits perfectly with the theme of the game and the title screen. Something about it is so peaceful, but it's also so ominous. It is perfect. Easiest S tier on this list. I can't even begin to like start. Sonic Rush. Now this one is really cool. It's on the DS, and it uses both screens to its advantage. On the top we have the logo, and on the bottom we have Sonic and Blaze. And when each character pops up, a word of the title shows up. And when the rush enters, it like spins in, it has this cool sound effect too. And when the whole logo shows up, Sonic and Blaze give the player a thumbs up. Then the background goes to this blue arrow style, and Sonic yells, SONIC RUSH! Just to make sure that you're playing the right game, and not Sonic take your time. The style and pizzazz is unmatched. Easy S tier. That's two S tiers in a row. Can we go for three? No, we can't because we can never have nice things. Fuck me. Sonic Rush Adventure. It's alright, but it's definitely a downgrade. It's the, the logo in the sky again. They fucking love this thing. I don't know why. And the bottom screen, you can see the island and the music is also really good since like the main theme. It's not as good as Rush, but it's still alright. B tier. Sonic Riders. This one again has the problem of the music not being there because it stops after the intro, but I really like the logo, the solo of Sonic is dope, and the borders are simple but stylish. Again, I don't- they gotta get out of the sky, bro. They gotta get back on the ground. 
solid B tier. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity. I definitely like this one more than Sonic Riders. The background is futuristic style and like this mellow techno music plays. Overall, theme is definitely more techy and I like that a lot. B tier. Sonic Free Riders. I don't really got much to say about this one. It's fine. It's like a B tier. Mm, that's too much. C tier. Sonic in the Secret Rings. Man, this one's really fucking weak, man. It's just the logo with the art in the back, and I don't even know what art it is. I think it's supposed to be, like, ancient, but I don't know what it's, like, nonsense. And <laughs> this is, like, really shitty fire animation at the bottom. That's like, five total frames, and the music is kind of ass. It's a D tier. Sonic 4 Episode 1. <sighs> Whoa! This game. Criminal. Fucking criminal! They try to replicate... The Sonic 1 title screen with the emblem. But it looks like it's animated with a total of 4 frames! Yeah, that's why it's called Sonic 4. It represents the amount of frames the animation was made with! Super hell tier. Fuck this game. Sonic 4 Episode 2 literally does the same thing as Episode 1. It tries to replicate Sonic 2's title screen, but fucks it up. In his baddest Episode 1, but the bar is already so low that it's not that much. F tier. Sonic Unleashed. This one kind of sucks ass. It's literally the logo in space. It's not even Earth, which I will give credit to the Wii version. It actually does have it on Earth, but the which is actually much better. I put the Wii version in C tier, but you know the saving grace for both of them is that you know it has the main theme for Unleashed playing, but still the one for the the uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 is a D tier. Sonic and the Black Knight. Again, this one is similar to Secret Rings. Really uninspired, but I do like Night of the Wind Place. So for that, C tier. Sonic Colors. This one is quite fire, I must say. Sonic is running in space, and behind him are all these wisps in the game. And if you stay in the menu for long enough, they start to go into these different formations, and they start doing these different things, like they spin around in this, like a spiral. And that just adds this little bit of detail and passion to the title screen. And I love when games do that, and they didn't have to do that, and they just decided to do it. And the track that plays is this majestic orchestral theme for Sonic Colors, and it adds to that space adventure feel. If Sonic was doing more like maybe reacting to the wisps or even like changing his running animation, then it would be an S, but definitely top of A tier. Sonic Generations. Now, this one actually I think does the Sonic 1 style pretty good. The animation isn't fucking 4 frames like Sonic 4, and the new rendition for Sonic 1's main theme is really good. I really don't like the background is just white, but I get it's supposed to represent the game's story, like you have to restore all the color. Solid B tier. Sonic <laughs> So you already know how I feel about this game, I'm not even gonna give this- I- You can say what you want about it, just because it's Sonic Lost World, I'm not even giving it a fucking chance. Fuck you, shit's boring as hell anyways. Sonic Boom, yeah, not even giving this one a chance either. Fuck you. Sonic Mania. This one's just pure bliss. It's another version of Sonic 1's title, but it adds its own flair to it. Sonic jumps out and does this little spin and then strikes this pose, and the background has an island shaped like Sonic's head. The music also slaps. Perfection. It's perfection. It's like the past games have tried to replicate the Sonic 1 style a lot, but I feel like they don't understand what like gave it its appeal. That title screen is supposed to show Sonic's attitude in less than two seconds it's sonic wagging his fingers like yeah i don't give a fuck about you this is my game and this one is sonic showing his style and like over exaggerated movement because he's just that guy he is that guy this one is an easy s tier sonic forces now this one is kind of interesting it has two title screens but since this is based on first playthroughs we will look at the first one it's a panning shot of the resistance base and it has a saw it has a melodramatic orchestra playing in the back. It's alright. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Solid C tier. Sonic Frontiers. Now this one is hella basic. It's just a cloudy sky. Again, why do they want it like I don't know why they love the sky so much. I don't understand. And the logo is like off in the corner. I don't know why it's not in the center, like unusual. Definitely the weakest one visually. I do like that they play the intro to I Am Here, but really it's not enough to save it. C tier because I am a sucker for I Am Here. I, th I think I just contradicted myself. I should probably write that out of the script. No, fuck it, I'll get it later. I'm too fucking lazy for this shit. 
Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. This one is really solid. The key art for the game is here, and that's already really good. The music is like the typical murder mystery music, but it has that, like, it doesn't have that Sonic flair. I'd be fucking lying to myself, but it's nice. It's not, it's not bad. Overall, solid B tier. Sonic Schoolhouse. What the fuck am I looking at right now? So it starts off with... I think that's the special stage music from Sonic 3. Sonic's tapping his foot, and it's really this really weird 3D model of him. And it spells out Sonic Schoolhouse. And then after that, he like does like this weird square run around it, and then it fades. And then you're welcome to Trippy Land. <laughs> I don't know what... Just for me not be able to comprehend what I'm seeing, I'm giving it a C tier for crazy. Sega Sonic All-Stars Racing. Now this one is... A really weird I don't know what's going on so it's the logo some dude yelling the title and then Sonic just pulls up in his and he starts like spazzing out like I don't know he's like tapping his wrist he's like saying well what time is it like he's like doing all his idle animations but like really fast and it looks like he's spazzing out really uh, and there's music like some dude like echo like I don't know what's going on here very awkward I don't like it that much it's a D tier Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Now, this one's a bit more polished. I feel like this game was always a bit more polished than the original. It's some dude saying the logo and the in name again, but it's not he's not fucking yelling it at you. Okay, and then the title like goes to the corner to show you some of the tracks, which I think is actually really cool. And the music here isn't fucking grating, which I appreciate a lot. Oh, an improvement. I always love an improvement. B tier. Team Sonic Racing. Now, this one's really boring, honestly. Yeah, again, you have the, the announcer screaming the title of the game. I guess that's just a trope of all of the racing games, I guess. And then it's just Sonic and Tails and Knuckles, like, just moving. Like, they're not even, like, moving. Like, they're, like, it's a picture of them, and, it, like, it just moves. It's really weird. And the music isn't even good. It's not like Greenlight Ride or something. It's just weird. It's just D tier. It's boring. Sonic Shuffle, what the fuck is going on? So you're in space, right? I guess that's Sonic going through a portal, right? And you have Sonic, and then you have these cards fly in, and then it shows Shuffle. Oh, that's real cute. And then you have this fucking nursery rhyme ass music playing in the background. I was expecting some fucking techno beat, like based off the intro, has some fucking Euro beat type shit. Really weird, does not fit a lot. I'm confused. C tier. Sonic Labyrinth. Now this one's interesting. It starts off with Sonic rolling around the place, you know, to, to show off, hey, you can't run, but you can roll in this game. And then he's like, hey, it's me, Sonic. He pops his little head out, and then he rolls back, and then he comes back, and he rolls back, and he just does this the entire time. It's just, then, then this is really grating music. I really don't like it a lot. And then the background is flashing all these different colors, enough to give you a fucking seizure. Just because it's a danger to my friends and family who are sensitive to bright lights, D tier. Sorry, man. <sighs> I don't want to fucking do this, man. Oh, no. Sonic Chronicles doesn't even get a chance. Fuck you. It's fucking hell tier. I'm not putting it in any other tier. It doesn't deserve to be on this fucking list. It's even lucky that it's here. And that should be it. I think I got everything here. If I missed something, I'm sorry. But here it is. This is the definitive tier list for Sonic title screens for those who really care. Now, this is what I call unto you. I'm going to link my Discord server that I made for our community. And I want you guys to post your tier list. And I'm also going to link the tier list that I made for this specific topic. And I want you to make your tier list with your placements and in the next video. I am going to rank it. I'm going to rank all your tier lists. So if you want to participate, if you want to show up in the next video, make sure to, first of all, subscribe. Make sure to like the video. I don't even care if you like the video. But make sure to go into that Discord and make sure that you do the tier list and post it. In the, it'll, be, it'll be a specific channel for this challenge. And in the next video, I'll rank it all. So it'll be a fun video. I don't know. But until then, I'll see y'all in the next one.